everyone and welcome. This video is about Mercury and the seven things no one tells you about Mercury and the retrograde. Why is it so important? Mercury is the planet of business. It's the planet of commerce, cash money. Everyone needs Mercury in this um, digital world where we're all connected through computers, phones, tablets, etc. So we do need to pay attention to Mercury more than ever, I believe. And uh, being the uh, planet of business, it all depends on how you position yourself in your work, how you speak, how you communicate with your um, colleagues, with your team, with your followers, with your customers. It depends on your job, right? So let me tell you the seven things no one says, especially if you're following Western astrology, then the whole thing gets lost in a different system. But in Vedic astrology, we pay attention also to what the sages, the rishis, the yogis who, have, who observed the planets for a long time in their higher states, and they found out a lot of secrets about the planets. So. Planets that are retrograde, so Mercury retrograde, is actually stronger. So not only is the, isn't this um, a weak planet, it is stronger. So you have to be super cautious on how the communication goes, on what which emails you send out. And also you need to be very uh, gracious, right? Because a strong planet takes over your consciousness and you rush. So especially during the retrograde, you need to cool down or you need to um, wait and uh, just observe what's happening, make your uh, decision. It's the planet of the intellect. So it's okay to be practical, right? Be practical, but be super cautious. And especially if you're having glitches, which means that Mercury is an important planet for you and it affects you more than other people. And also it's a, Okay, that was fact one, <laughs> strong planet, Mercury. Fact number two, planet, um, planets are different in their um, temperament, let's call it that. And Mercury is very hot. So nobody, um, we don't pay attention to that factor. Planet, it's a small planet, it's very close to the sun and it's very hot. So a hot planet, again, heats up your intellect your your mind it gives you intelligence it gives you a uh, discrimination but also during a retrograde that heat again can cause some problems so take a walk cool off before you speak right don't speak in haste be very cautious when you write because once it's sent you can't do anything so maybe uh, have a draft before you send things out, or your, especially if your work depends on it, right? Your livelihood. And uh, the other thing, the Mercury, so that was fact two, fact number three. The other thing that uh, fact three means um, that it's really the planet of graciousness because Mercury is a prince. So we have a hierarchy of planets, right? So the sun is the king, the moon is the queen, and um, Mercury happens to be a prince. So it's very gracious. If you see a prince, right, on TV or on Instagram, or you know one, how do they speak in public? They speak very cautiously, very diplomatically, very um, appropriately, and uh, also a little humorous in a gracious way without offending anybody. So they're really, really cautious with their speech and they make people maybe smile or giggle with their humor. That is what Mercury is. So if you're in, in business and you are, um, just make sure that your, your communication is um, sensitive. So be cautious with other people's feelings and don't, even if you want to say a joke, don't. You know, don't get carried away. And fact number four, the moon is the enemy of Mercury, or rather Mercury is the enemy of the moon. Why? Because there is a story, a mythical story, that uh, Mercury was born from the moon also. So Mercury was the father 
uh, sorry, the moon was the father of Mercury because uh, Mercury's mother, Tara, had a relationship, was married to Jupiter and had a relationship with the moon god. Moon is a male in Vedic astrology. So the fact that um, he's an illegitimate son, um, he made, created some enmity, right? He hates the moon. He says, oh, you seduce my mother. So, and he loves his father actually, but they're neutral to each other, but um, they're supposed to be enemies too. But anyway, so the, I was confusing the two stories, but the thing is that Mercury and Moon don't go well together. So if they're positioned together in, in your birth chart, don't be overly emotional in your communication and don't be uh, cruel with other people who actually are having like an emotional state. So don't rationalize other people's emotions. So be cautious again with, your, with what you say. And uh, Overly uh, dramatic and emotional communication at work. It's almost never helpful. <laughs> so be very careful with that. Um, the other thing, the sun and, the Mer and Mercury together. Okay. Mercury being hot can comfortably be with the sun. Okay. So uh, planets that are too close together, depending on the degree, they become what we call combust or combusted, meaning very burned out and giving bad results. But Mercury can handle it, I believe. So I've seen that all the, the um, combust planets, it's the one that gives the best results. And uh, of course, then it's not absolutely perfect, but Mercury retrograde is going backward. So it's not so affected by the presence of the sun, even if they're very close. So that means that the retrograde is helping the combustion that the, this planet is not getting too um, overheated and you know irritable in, in communication and other things. So uh, don't worry if you uh, the, the Mercury gets very close to the sun, but if it's retrograde, it's not so bad. Okay. The other thing I wanted to say about this, um, so that uh, we're going to five. Uh, no, no, we're at six. <laughs> I was supposed to count. <laughs> okay, so fact six is the fact that the retrograde, um, Mercury retrograde doesn't get so combusted as uh, a regular, you know, direct Mercury. And now fact number seven, look where the planet is. So if you're looking at Mercury, make sure that you notice the sign where Mercury is. So Mercury is commerce and business. But now in Taurus, who is ruling Taurus? So ruler, the ruler of Taurus is actually Venus. So now you have an interaction of these two planets and they're actually very good friends. So they help each other, right? In relationships, in business. Um, for example, if you have a store, everything is beautiful, etc. So Taurus, um, Mercury in Taurus would be different than uh, different from Mercury in Leo or Mercury in Virgo, oh, Virgo is even, it's a great place, but anyway, let's, uh, let's not talk about that, or Mercury in Scorpio or Mercury in Capricorn. So pay attention to the sign. So right now, Venus is still exalted, um, still in Gandanta, but that's another story for another video. And so Mercury is receiving the support of Venus in a strong sign. And uh, when Venus moves tomorrow and goes to Aries, Mercury loses that support. So Mercury is already fast, can be impulsive, uh, very quick, uh, quick uh, change, quickly changing planet. Now that Venus, the ruler of Taurus, goes to Aries, so Mercury becomes even faster. So be super careful <laughs> in relationships, how you speak, how you communicate, and how you handle also everything at work, etc. So double check everything. Don't uh, speak in an irritable way. It usually doesn't work. If you have to say what you have to say, say it very graciously and uh, everything will work out very well. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Make sure you're subscribing below where, where there's a sign that says subscribe. I really appreciate it. And also it helps to diffuse these uh, videos. Thank you. See you soon.